Tell me, uh, what has surprised you most coming to terms and understanding kind of what this operation is? What, what, what did you not know that just made you go, well, you know, holy smokes? What surprised me, first of all, was how large and professional it was and is. Uh, I had no idea. I thought, and I think you can get away with it, uh, uh, podcasts are all over the place. Anybody with a computer and a microphone can put up a podcast and you could do it out of a room and you could scan newspapers and write up headlines and, and you could probably pass yourself off pretty well as a, as a reporter. Uh, cut that very deep and uh, you get to the, the point that there's nothing behind it. It's empty. But what you've done is built this incredible team, not only of people with extreme knowledge of the technology, but also the knowledge of the future, which is, to me, the most exciting part. What's next? You're not sitting still. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, you were the one who had, had told me that it was Lou Holtz who said that you're standing still, you're moving backwards. Mm -hmm. I don't think Rick, Rick Capcella has ever moving backwards, never standing still, always moving forward. You know, I, and we, we talked about the fact that in this newsroom, you know, even before uh, bringing you on, I mean, we're talking about a group of, you know, a dozen journalists and additional support staff here, but a dozen journalists with a cumulative 170 years in this marketplace. And I double that you by just simply coming on. <laughs> you stole my line. <laughs> that's easy, you know, that's an easy double. We're over 300 for sure right now. Um, One of the things that has uh, me troubled from time to time in the new generation of the development of this kind of news, and I, I see it all the time when I uh, go through the internet and, and I'm trying to pick out things of interest, is that in the rush toward technology, sometimes journalism gets left behind. You've managed to preserve journalism, big J journalism, uh, at this level. And what I'd like to be able to do, because I bring that 45 years of what it requires to be a, a journalist, not just a person with a microphone, not just somebody who runs out on the street and tries to gather some news, but there are deep, thick rules about how we should approach our jobs. And I don't ever want that lost as this blossoms and becomes, I think, the method of delivering news to people that we don't lose journalism in the process, in our rush to be speedy and uh, electronic and accessible, that there still is an underpinning of that, that contract with the people that you can trust what's being said. Yes.